do guys, so just wanted to update with you with what's going on with my channel. Um, I'm going to start doing a carpentry series. Um, that's what I like to do, and if you didn't see my post on my Instagram, f.e.g productions, um, if you didn't see my post, I posted something about, you know, like, what I'm doing when I'm not playing airsoft and I'm not hiking around, that's building stuff, and I had a closet on there, so just go check that out, it's a really cool build, um, but today, for the first episode of the series, I'll be showing you how to make a roof, um, pretty easy process, actually, um, Maybe I'm just saying that because I've been doing it for a little bit more time, but um, it's a pretty easy process, so I'll just go through it real quick. Um, enjoy the video. So far, I'll just go through what we got done. So we got that post up, this post up, and that post up. So it's it's ready for roofing. Um, once again, just in case you guys didn't realize what we were doing the first time around since it was like, havoc and crap. We measured from that post, that, that back post right there. I'll show you. We measured from this post right here to that one over there and it was 101 and a fourth and the reason I measured from this post instead of this is because I want it to overlap a little bit so that the water doesn't get in through this little hole here that hole is there because I needed some what well, I made it because I wanted some air um, I might patch that up um, in the winter because it's going to be my tree stand as I said so I'm probably going to have like a heater in here or something I don't want the heat to just like escape like that so I might patch that up later but not tonight today I'm just going to show you how to make the roof so yeet alright boys so we got the first one screwed in I didn't screw it into this post yet I won't do that I just wanted to get this video in um, so basically I'll show you what we did. We used, let me see, um, we used, what does that say? I can't see. Eight times one and one fourth, um, inch nails, so uh, they kind of look like this. I bought them from Ace. Um, we just used those to screw them in. Um, looks like that. And that one, um, what I did was first pre-drilled them with my Dewalt screw gun. Um, I used a small bit, as you can see, I don't even see that thing. I used a small bit so that after I put them in, um, like there wouldn't be any leakage or anything like that. So I used a small bit to pre-drill it. And then I just drilled those screws in there, um, so it's, it's good now. Um, so I'm going to do this. Um, I'm going to screw it into this other post yet, and then I'll show you how I overlap the roofing. Alright, so what I did for the overlapping of the roof, 
Um, this is the end of the roof right here. See that? So basically, what I did was overlapped them like that. See how that is? Just it's like a groove. It just fits right into each other, like, just like that. So I'm just gonna keep doing that. Alright boys, that's the end result of my roof. Um, so, like I said, what we kept doing was we kept overlapping these pieces just one by one. See that? Just for the focus, right there. Um, just it's like a groove; it just fits right in. I did that the rest of the way down. Um, what I did here. Um, get up here. Okay. So basically what I did was, I don't know if you guys can see. Get up here. I did one, two, and three um, screws for each piece. But then at the end, I only did two. Just for the heck of like, you know. Saving screws, see one, and then there's another one over there. So, I did all together eight for each piece. Um, three on this post, and then three on this post, and two on that post. So, yeah, yeah this is the end result. Um, basically, what I did here was just Use my circular saw and just cut straight to make it so that they wouldn't be overhanging too much. Um, so yeah, I'll get on the inside. This is the inside. Don't mind that noise. Um, that's what it looks like on the inside. Um, see my beams are holding up well. That one, that one. So, they may be a little loose when you put them in, but that's just because they're flappy like that, you know? I mean, like I said, I used eight screws for each piece, so. Um, maybe a little bit flappy like that in the beginning, but otherwise, you know, that's what it looks like in the end, you know? So, um, compared to the beginning, See how I had a little overhang here? Um, it started to dip right right there. I don't know why. Went from like very lengthy to very small here, so I had to pull that out a little bit more. I don't know if they cut it more. See, I did it here too. I don't know if they cut it wrong or something. I had to do that, but that's just what I did because if I would have kept going with that, it would have eventually been on the inside here, and I don't want that because it wouldn't have an overhang. So that's basically my roof. One more look from up here. Yeah, see, um, yeah, 
Looks pretty dang nice, guys. I'm very happy with the end result. Yeah, that's what I zoomed in. I'm really happy with the end result. Um, so basically, I will see you guys next time on this new carpentry se carpentry series. Um, it's been a fun one. First one. Um, make sure to give this video a like and a comment. Um, thanks for watching.